Ladies and gentlemen, from Aloka, Sanjeev Argawal. Good morning. Thank you. Can you hear me in the back? Uh, my name is Sanjeev Agarwal. I'm the CEO of Aloka. As of last week, we were acquired by Motorola, so I'm now part of Motorola. Um, as of last week, uh, my five-year-old and my six-month-old also started going to new schools and slept through the night. So I'm a very happy dad and a very happy entrepreneur. So uh, thank you, Verizon, for having me and letting me share my story with you. So Aloka is, uh, was a small startup, about a 17-person company. And what we did was we built uh, an SDK, or essentially a platform company, that allows you, as a developer, and certainly us, to be able to push contextually relevant content to the right user at the right place in the right time. So a few of you, has anybody here used the Aloka app? Have you seen the Aloka app on Android or any other platform? So a few of you. Uh, for those who haven't, the app is built on our SDK. And what the SDK does is, we started solving the problem that if you look at your phone, a lot of times the content you should be getting in real time should be made available to you without you having to speak or type or say anything. And so if based on your location, which is always the highest order bit of your context, I'm able to combine your location with your preferences, who your friends are, uh, where you are, what time of day it is, and provide to you content in real time without you having to do anything, that would solve a real problem. And we built our own app. Um, and based on that app and the usage of our SDK across other apps, we're capturing a lot of user analytics in order to improve the functionality of what we provide. So think about Aloka as your always on local mobile inbox. Why am I here? Very recently, as you know, Verizon launched the NBI uh, location kit and map kit. And uh, we've uh, not had to spend a lot of time. We were pleasantly surprised, I'll be honest. Thank you, Chris and Brian for how little time it took to actually integrate in the back end with the NBI toolkit, and the kinds of user experience benefits we got, which I'll demo for you. Uh, one of the big advantages of NBI, of course, is that it's cross-platform, and we happen to exist on all these platforms, Android, Windows Phone, BlackBerry, and especially on some of the, the platforms where getting location, getting access to push, and getting access to uh, maps is hard, or the quality of the maps isn't great, NBI is a real godsend. So let's jump right into the app. Again, as one instantiation of the platform, um, if you could please focus on the screen. So now you can all see my password. This is my Nexus One. It's running on another operator that I won't mention. It's three letters. Um, and this is a Droid 2, which is running on Verizon. Um, and basically, what the uh, I'll show you the full experience with the app. This Nexus One has the Aloka app without the NBI integration. So what it is is it's um, uh, the native application we're using, the native Android supplied location kit, as well as the map. And those little um, icons you see there, we call them channels. So this is the uh, the unit in which you receive information, anything from simple coffee shops. Um, Starbucks, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, Pete's Coffee, through to something more exciting like uh, events and concerts that you could go to uh, that are in proximity and that keep getting better and better as I know more about you and as I see friends' recommendations on what they like in that particular channel, uh, to something even more fun like uh, real estate. Uh, I saw some of the prices of how much you could buy a home for in Vegas. It's unbelievable. I live in the Bay Area. and so. Um, being able to go in right there and be able to send the realtor an email saying, hey, I'd like to find more information about this house. Um, other things, you can order food to go as you walk around. These are the places that deliver within 25 miles of you. Um, and there's hundreds of channels. So we've aggregated about 100 publishers in six countries um, and put them together. Now, this is not necessarily the UI you may want as an app developer. You may want to take your calendar. You may want to take your address book. You may want to take some other app and take just pieces of, uh, of this functionality, but power it so when I'm driving, the act of finding a coffee shop is literally two clicks. 
And if I don't drink coffee, I can go remove the coffee channel and add millions of other channels. OK, so what's the difference between uh, um, the NBI free aloca and the NBI full aloca? Let, let me show you that. So just to take a simple example, if I go into coffee, the way I find coffee, Dunkin' Donuts. So I used to live on the East Coast, and as you can see, I love donuts. Um, and here are four Dunkin' Donuts. I was amazed that they had Dunkin' Donuts in Vegas. I thought it was just an East Coast thing. Um, so if I go here, it gives me the basic information like the address, and then, in the, and then I can say I like it. I can write a comment about it. I can review it. And it says within six miles, and it, and it takes me to Google Maps. And it has that large green circle. Because as you can imagine, one of the big things we need to do in order to keep this app efficient, because we're pushing so much information on your phone, is we're taking the least energy consuming method, in this case, Wi-Fi or cell ID, which is only so accurate. So if we can get, um, in the case of NBI, a little more accuracy without sacrificing too much power, that's a big deal. And that's one of the benefits that we see. That's one of them, and I'll come to some of the others. So I'm in this green circle. This, uh, this green person is me. This, this red dot is where I'm going. And today, if I needed to route myself there, if I needed to get there, especially if I was driving or not in a position to type, I would then have to launch another application, like Maps, in this case. And then get the route. It would take some time. And then I could do navigation. But it would be fairly different from a well-integrated experience that the user might want. So let me go to my proud Droid 2, which doesn't belong to me. Um, and let me do the same thing on coffee. So if I'm now, this is the NBI integrated uh, version. And I go in. Thankfully, the results are the same. So we're in Vegas. And these are the four closest uh, Dunkin' Donuts. The same result. Notice that it says it's between 2.7 and 3.8 miles. So, and that is true. So at least my perception is, and we've been playing with NBI for a couple of weeks, not very long, but my perception is that tightening of the accuracy is a big deal for people like us without sacrificing more power. And then when I go in and I actually place myself on a map, the map's equivalently good. But in order to get routing, it's really, really simple. I didn't have to launch another app. I didn't have to go into Google Maps or a browser. It's right there. And then if I wanted to get navigation turn by turn, it launches VZ Navigator right away. I have to tell you, I've been having some issues with assistive GPS, so I'm not just going uh, to go back. But basically, if you, if you provide the address, which is what our app does, there's one very simple call in order to pass the destination address to VZ Navigator. And that integration is, again, very, very useful for, for end users. Yes, I want to exit it. Um, so if you think about what we do, we proactively, proactively meaning you don't have to do anything, speak or type, notify users of interesting people, places, events, uh, music, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I didn't show you a piece of this, which, we ha which is a location-based Twitter, basically. There's a thing called the local wall, where you can say, I hate my kids today. I'm going to sell all their toys. Who wants to buy them? And there's coupons, and there's uh, campgrounds, and there's a bunch of other stuff. So we've gotten to about a million users in 12 months. We were one of the first applications featured by Google in the Android marketplace for about eight months, uh, also by Windows 6.5. We've won a few awards. Uh, Forbes rated us as the best travel app. Uh, the Mobile World Congress last year in Barcelona, we were one of the top four platforms. That, uh, that emerged last year. Um, a few of uh, the, the, uh, the operators have also featured us uh, pretty well. So more on point, just to summarize, using NBI Map Kit and Location Kit, the benefits are easy mapping, very easy routing, direct link to navigation, um, which is not possible if we didn't have NBI. And uh, uh, in working with NBI, some of the things that we noticed if we weren't using, um, so as you can imagine, our app requires constantly keeping track of where the user is in as lightweight a way as we possibly can. If we were just using GPS, and in that mode of operating, using GPS to do that all the time would kill your phone very, very fast. So if we were just using GPS, it would take our developer, he, he, he thought about a three or four hours to integrate with NBI. With the background positioning that we do that requires a lot of client-side intelligence, maybe a day or two. We talked about the features, the one static call to route me there. That's very, very interesting. 
The cross-platform nature of NBI is perhaps the most uh, interesting part for us because uh, there's a single API. You don't have to learn anything new to uh, integrate in other platforms. And especially on platforms uh, like BlackBerry and Windows Mobile, which don't come native with the kind of support Android does, it becomes even better. And then, of course, there's the Verizon user base that, um, uh, that, uh, that integrating with NBI gets us access to the um, 100 million users. is always a, a big, big plus. So that was about it. Questions, concerns, thoughts? All right, thank you. I have a question. I have a oh. quick, quick question. Now, um, using the VZ Navigator, uh, what are you doing as far as uh, location-based services internal as well as external? Um, in the sense, if you're on the outskirts, but what if you're inside a, a, a complex, for example, like a convention center, for example? Right. So uh, it's true. The, uh, I'll actually let the NBI folks, if they have a better answer for this than I do, also add to it, because I'm having issues, the same issues that you are today in, in, in uh, using this as a GPS. Um, in a convention center, you, I would expect that this isn't so deep inside the building that you shouldn't get a GPS or GPS. I'm not getting that today. So Brian, do you want to help us with that? <laughs> so, uh, uh, so in NBI, we're actually uh, using Wi-Fi as a, a positioning uh, technology. So, um, uh, and uh, that, that uh, partially solves the indoor location challenge. And uh, at a high level, uh, location kit, which is uh, part of the uh, offering from um, uh, NBI, uses uh, Wi-Fi, cell ID, um, and uh, so it, it uh, uh, complements each other for, for the uh, accuracy and uh, position fix. So that, that's how we solve that problem. I don't know if that answered your question. Thanks. Okay, thank you.